Hey guys, it's Carolina here from Carolina's Crafts and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I have another project I wanted to share with you guys using up some scraps from the Fall Forest Collection by Die Cuts with a View. I literally just had scraps left. Um, I had a couple of them more. Let me actually get them and show you guys. So these are all my scraps that are left from this collection. I used up all the bigger ones. Um, I'm keeping all my cutter parts, obviously, and these. And I just have some of these scraps. Now, I am holding on to these because even though I can't make anything with this, like, specifically right now, there is another collection that looks just like this. So this is the Fall Forest by Die Cuts with a View. And this one, Farmstead Harvest by, I think this is Simple Stories. No, by American Crafts. Um is like the same as this so the colors are a little different like this one has some darker blues but you could see like this paper is the same there's um this mushroom paper it's just like a little darker here um this paper is the same um so there are some papers that are the same and like even the cut aparts i mean this is a six by eight so everything's a little smaller um, but even like the cut aparts are like the same. I don't think there's this one in here. Um, but maybe some of the other ones that I have in the project I'm going to share with you guys. So, you know what guys, let's get started and I'll show you guys what I made. So all those cut aparts I just shared with you guys, um, uh, what was I going to say? All those cut aparts I just shared with you guys, I'm putting away with this collection because I know um, I can still use them when I have scraps from this collection that I'm going to use. So I do love this collection though. I wish I had another one of this one. The colors are definitely brighter in here and I love it a little bit more than this one, but this is close enough. But the project that I made, because I just had scraps, is a little 3x4 size mini notebook. I've been dying to use up that paper pad, so I'm so happy I was finally able to do that. I did not want that paper to go to waste at all. Um, so you could see I did the covers in um, the paper from the collection. I decorated here with some mushrooms and a chipboard that says happy harvest those pieces are from target you guys years and years and years ago target used to sell like these chipboard pieces from the brand called spritz and they came in this little container for five dollars you guys it was like the best thing ever um and i still have a ton in here but yeah, it's $5 for a bucket of like chipboard stickers, which is fantastic. So I use them here and there, especially when I'm crafting fall. Um, so you open this up and here I did a little pocket with like a scrap I had, added a little tag in here. And this is available in my Etsy shop in case you guys are interested in purchasing it. And I know I still owe you guys a three by four size mini notebook tutorial. I have a lot of things I'm catching up on right now because I just got back from Poland. But by the time you guys see this video, I would have been back probably from Poland for a while. Um, but <laughs> at least you guys know I'm filming this in the very, very, very beginning of October. I don't know when you guys are going to see this. It might be in November. Um, but yeah, I have a lot of videos kind of stashed up and ready to go. It's like the only way I was also able to go to Poland because I had my videos scheduled and ready to go. Um, otherwise, I don't even know how I would have been able to be gone for three weeks and not post videos like that would have been too hard to do. Um, anyway, so here I have this vellum piece and I just added a sticker. I always keep my stickers from collection kits. I just wanna show you guys. So these are all my fall stickers left over from collection kits. And so when I'm crafting fall things and especially because I have a ton of paper pads for fall and not like collection kits, I have collection kits too, but I have a ton of paper pads that don't come with stickers. Anytime I use a collection kit, I keep the stickers. And you guys can see, it's not just fall. I literally have, this is by the sea. This is floral. We got Halloween. 
We got a married collection, 4th of July, summer, birthday, Christmas, more Christmas, um, doggy themed paper. And like, I just keep them all in this little thing here. So when I need some stickers to decorate, I either go in here or I look in the sticker books that I get during like the Echo Park warehouse sale. Though I try to pull from those sticker sheets first because I mean, they come, they come in handy. They're useful. You see that, that just looks cute. Anyway, so you flip this here. We've got a cut apart that says leaves are falling and autumn is calling. Um, then I have some, see, I decorated here also. I've got some pink dyed paper here and we've got another little scrap here. Put a sticker here as well. This flips open. I made these cute little like paper clips with some gold tool and this just kind of like keeps this closed. Then we've got more index cards that I cut down and see why I keep these scraps. This is all you need sometimes just a little scrap and in these little mini notebooks they work so well to turn my pages into pockets so here i have a little die cut out tag and then these are also um, the, div the divider pages are also pocket pages so i also made some tags with some scraps and yeah all my seam binding is from my scrap cabin shop in case you guys want to get some too i love her seam binding um i'll also have the um tab dot and not tab die it's a tab punch i will link that down below it is cute it's small enough to work well in this like notebook um and yeah i will i'll link that down below anyway so you flip this this is one of my favorite papers from that fall forest collection use some more stickers here it says gratitude flip this i've got another pink dyed paper from my stash here we've got another flip out just like that and this is actually from another collection I'm working with now another like fall themed collection but I had a scrap of that so that is actually from this collection I'm working with which is colors of autumn by recollection so it's that paper pad um, I think this yeah yeah this yellow was from that also um, so I'm gonna keep going here we've got the thankful for you and look this is from fall forest this one right here is from the american crafts collection so definitely um similar and then here we've got the second divider page with a tag because like i said they're all pocket pages as well and then here i've got this little um tag and made a pocket there decorated with some more stickers here's just a random sheet I had in my stash so I used it I like how this one is thinner not so like thick and bulky and actually this paper the sunflower paper that's from fall fever by Cardabella. so is this paper right here and again it's another flip out this one is a cut apart that says fall and you can just add something to the back um here we got more index card pages another uh, divider page and i made a belly band here added a sticker and a tag and another tag at the top because again it's a pull out page and you could have this go either this way or you could flip it and have it go in this way which i'll probably do i pulled out this just by accident um, when i was pulling that out so we'll find where that goes back here i've got another vellum piece with the pumpkin another cut apart um another um pink dyed paper um let's see here's the flip out yes so this is where this goes but anyway this flips out open like that again this deer paper is my favorite love it love it love it and then just more pages that you could write and journal on another pink dyed paper and then i did another pocket on the back with a little tag and yeah so this is a cute little chunky three by four size mini notebook but it's perfect if you want to jot down some things maybe just some notes on what you're doing every day as maybe like maybe you could use this to prepare for your october daily 
um, and write down what you're doing every day because obviously it's really hard to keep up with an October daily and do it every single day in October. So sometimes it's easier to do it later on. So if you need to take notes on what you're doing every single day, like this would be a good way to do that. So you can jot down um, what you're doing every single day um, and whatnot. So that's a good way to do it. Um, you could also use this as a gratitude journal every single day, like look up some journal prompts on like uh, Pinterest, or I'm sure there's some printables as well, and you could do some journaling. Um, so there's a lot of space in here, a lot of writing space. Um, so you can use it as a little notebook or a journal, and it's so cute. So again, that is available in my Etsy shop if you guys want it. I'm so glad I was able to finally use this up. Like, honestly, this is the one collection I needed to keep all my scraps because I just love it so much. If I could get three more of these, I would. So if you guys are selling any of these or want to get rid of one, let me know. <laughs> like, I love it. I love it, love it, love it. Actually, I shouldn't be buying any paper this year because I'm not um, teaching anymore. I'm just crafting, so I'm trying to use up my stash. But if you happen to be getting rid of one... Let me know. Um, okay, so that is it, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, I know I owe you guys a 3x4 size mini notebook tutorial. That will be coming soon. Just trying to get settled back in. Um, and yeah, so thank you guys, and I'll see you guys in my next crafty video. Talk to you soon. Bye.